Hello, uh, and thank you for the opportunity pr uh, to present, and thank you, Michalina, for an excellent, excellently presented talk and very thorough disclosure slide. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, disclosures at stages 2018, and again, I'm Alex Lois. Uh, I'm a third-year general surgery resident at the University of Washington. This is our disclosure slide. Uh, Dr. Wright receives educational funding from Cook Medical, as well as educational funding and speaker fees um, from Covidian Medtronic. Myself and the remainder of the authors uh, have nothing to disclose. So conflicts of interest are not a new issue in medicine. Um, and here, from here on out, I'll refer to conflicts of interest as COI. Uh, however, the underreporting of conflicts of interest in medical journals uh, has recently gained national media attention. This is due in part uh, to the pat passage of the Physician Payments Sunshine Act in 2010, uh, which led to the creation of the Open Payments Database, or OPD, which is um, a, uh, an annually published report of uh, industry payments to physicians as reported to the Centers uh, for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Now, uh, physician relationships with industry are not necessarily a bad thing. They can be mutually beneficial, uh, providing research and educational support for physicians, funding for national meetings, uh, as well as driving innovation for industry. However, uh, it has been well established that there is a pattern of underreporting of conflicts of interest uh, in published journal articles. And the same research has shown that uh, articles that underreport conflicts of interest tend to be more favorable towards industry. So we questioned whether this same pattern of underreporting uh, was occurring in speakers at national conferences. So we set out to examine the, ac uh, the accuracy of conflict of interest disclosure uh, among invited speakers at the 2018 uh, uh, SAGES meeting. We also set out to characterize the nature and amount of payments made by the largest industry <laughs> sponsors. We expected that SAGES speakers would be highly compliant with the disclosure slide requirement. However, we did expect a significant discrepancy between speaker reported and OPD reported COI. To do this, um, we used the SAGES presentations available on YouTube. SAGES is unique in the, uh, in the sense that they, all of their invited speakers' presentations are available free to the public via YouTube. We reviewed uh, each presentation for the presence and absence of disclosure slides, and then recorded uh, all reported conflicts of interest for each invited speaker. We then queried the open payments database uh, for each invited speaker and recorded all financial relationships greater than $500. Uh, previous research using the OPD has selected other arbitrary amounts for defining conflicts of interest. We chose $500 because we felt that it would capture all significant financial relationships without, miss without including trivial payments. We then used this information to calculate the top 10 industry sponsors uh, and queried the OPD for their financial in information for 2017. In total, there were 526 invited uh, presentations in 2018 uh, made by 420 unique presenters. Of these, 105 were non-US physicians and thus not listed in the OPD, uh, leaving us with 350 or 15 presentations um, for review. Um, in total, 414 of the 479 available videos included a uh, disclosure for a compliance rate of 86.4%. So this slide is going to show you a comparison of the accuracy of speaker reported and open payments database reported disclosures. It's a little bit confusing all at once, so I'll walk through it. First, there were 106 speakers that reported no disclosures, and this was confirmed by the open payments database. And then there were 15 speakers uh, who reported um, uh, conflicts of interest that were fully concordant with the OPD. An additional 71 speakers uh, reported conflicts of interest actually above what was reported uh, in the OPD, and collectively we considered all of these speakers to have given full disclosure. This left 123 speakers that did not fully disclose their conflicts of interest, or a rate of 39% of underdisclosure. In total, these 315 speakers uh, received $6.4 million from industry in the year prior to the 2018 SAGES conference. This figure uh, groups uh, the speakers by the level of their disclosure um, and then again by uh, the amount of money or the total value of their relationships with industry. 
as you can see, um, the majority of patients received less than $10,000 from industry. And one might expect that the value of these undisclosed relationships may be a small percentage of the speaker's total financial relationships. However, when we totaled the value of all undisclosed relationships, that came out to more than $2 million in payments, or nearly a third of the total money received by Sage's presenters in 2018. When we break things down further by topic of presentation, um, we did this in order to see how industry was allocating funding to physician speakers. We saw that speakers in robotics and hernia sessions received the most money from industry at $2.6 million per topic, uh, with uh, speakers in the robotic sur uh, surgery sessions receiving the highest uh, median value per presenter. Uh, when we look at the top 10 uh, industry sponsors, we see that Intuitive was the largest sponsor paying nearly $2 million in total to Sage's presenters. Um, collectively, these 10 companies paid $350 million to physicians in 2017, $5.3 million of which was to Sage's speakers. When we break down this $350 million, we see that 30% were paid royalties, 20% funded research, consulting and travel each accounted for 15%, 11% were paid speakers fees, and 6% funded education. So in reviewing these data, we see that most speakers uh, include a disclosure slide when giving a presentation at Sages. However, a significant number, 39%, have undisclosed conflicts of interest. And these undisclosed conflicts uh, of interest account for a significant portion of uh, speakers' financial relationships, totaling more than $2 million. So why might this be occurring? There are several possible explanations for physician underreporting. The first would be the timing of the relationship. So uh, the OPD captures uh, data from January to December of 2017, whereas speakers presenting at SAGES were required to present in the year prior to SAGES, so leading up to that April. So there was a little bit of non-overlap. Um, speakers may also be unaware of some OPD-listed payments, such as uh, attending educational conferences spon uh, sponsored by industry, which are reported to the OPD uh, as a physician payment. Some may not report a disclosure if they feel it's not relevant to their topic of discussion, or in some cases they may simply not remember. In terms of the limitations of the OPD, uh, it doesn't account for non-monetary conflicts of interest and thus um, uh, personal relationships, stock options, uh, and things of that nature are not included and not accounted for. Moving forward, uh, we feel that we should uh, work together to further improve the transparency of conflicts of interest reporting. Uh, we suggest that speakers should be required to check the OPD uh, in reporting their disclosures to make sure that they've adequately accounted for everything listed. Additionally, we think in doing so, uh, speakers should specify both the nature and amount of each financial relationship because we can all agree um, that there's a significant variability from one speaker to the next. Above listed would be an example slide of a potential uh, disclosure slide moving forward. So in conclusion, uh, disclosure slide inclusion rate is high. However, there is still a significant discrepancy between speaker reported and OPD reported conflicts of interest. The value of these undisclosed payments is significant and improvements can and should be made to further clarify the disclosure process. Thank you. <laughs>